So now that we've installed the Jasper Report server, let's begin by prepping our repository and connecting to our first data set. Once you've opened the login page, you can use any of our initial logins to get started. Keep in mind these are for initial setup and demonstration of user authentication and roles. We'll cover security in detail in later workshops. The Jasper Report server automatically detects your language and translates all messages. For this workshop, you can follow along by selecting Show Locale and Time Zone and selecting English. For now, we'll log into the server using Jasper Admin, all lowercase, for both the username and password. From the Jasper Report server homepage, let's create a location for our workshop files. First, we'll navigate to the server repository by selecting View from the top menu and then Repository. Now we'll create a new folder by right-clicking on the public folder and selecting Add Folder. Now type Workshop and click Add to create the new folder. Now let's connect to our database. From the menu, select Create and Data Source. From here, we'll connect to our sample Postgres database called FoodMart. We'll select the Postgres database driver this is just one of the many pre-configured database drivers that comes out of the box and ready to use with Jaspersoft. The database host can be found at localhost and the port at 5432. The name of this database is FoodMart and we'll keep the created URL which includes our name dataset. Now we'll add the login credentials for our database, which in this case is all lowercase Postgres for both the username and password. You can then test the connection, and once it is passed, you can select Save. Now we'll name our data source FoodMartDS and save it under Public, inside our Workshop folder, and then click Save. Great! Now you've connected to your first data source with Jaspersoft. In our next video, we'll show you how to make that data source even easier to read and use with domains. This will prepare the data for the ad hoc views that we will place inside our final dashboard.